So now we're ready to start measuring. We've got our table and uh, we've got our instrument here. Remember we actually measured the carpet and uh, in doing so we moved the instrument away from here and now it won't be zeroed exactly. So we're going to just, just finish up by, or start the whole thing by zeroing it. Always zero the instrument at the last minute before you start measuring. So we've got it zeroed. Remember, we're going to record things. We want to put it into record mark. And now it's ready to go. And just as good practice, I always zero the registers. So we're going to do record zero. And this is going to make it so that we can record all the new data, the 32 points, without worrying that there's already data in there. And it's ready. And so it's ready for position uh, one reading one. So let's get started. Remember I said we're going to start at the rear right elevation. And we take a measurement. Just take your instrument. Now we're on carpet here. Carpet, no, floor or tile. So we're going to put FT in just to remind us that we've got to make a bit of compensation. So that was measurement one. Now step this out. You don't have to be super accurate. You're gonna have furniture in the way and all sorts of things like that. But what you wanna do is get eight measurements in at equally distance as possible, just so there's a nice consistency about the way you're collecting that data. And often, parts of the building divide up so I'm going to do four in here and four in that room there so makes it easy we keep repeating this all the way along Measurement six. And then the final first eight me of the eight measurements, number eight. Just do down here. Notice I've sort of maneuvered my way around furniture. You cannot always get a straight line. You try to, but you can't always. So you get as close as possible. So we've now done our first eight measurements. And what we want to do is to take the next eight. But we don't want them just on the continuation of this eight. We want to start a whole new row. And we do that by pushing mark. And now you see we've got P2 ready to take the first measurement on the second vector. Okay, we're going to start at the rear and we're going to work our way to the front of the building. 